How we're doing, guys? Whoa. Wow, let's, let's get that pack off. It weighs, I don't know what it weighs, it weighs a lot and all that. Anyway, that's, a, that's for another video. Right, we're still up in the Highlands and I'll be honest, the weather has been atrocious, but hey, that's what it can do up here. And uh, we're on, I think we're on day four. Day four, the weather's broke. We've got some cracking weather and an opportunity to get out with the camera. Last night we were up at Lock Garton. Lock Garton's famous for the Ospreys. Didn't see any. Um, we've been on Lock Leven, which is uh, another RSPB reserve. Didn't see a lot up there either, again, because of the weather, but we're up in the air. I'm not going to tell you where we are uh, because I'm on someone else's patch and um, another wildlife photographer. And I met him last year and he's very kindly invited me up here onto his, uh, one, of his, one of his shoots. And um, he's got a set up here where you never know, we might get some pictures of uh, pine martins. Now that would be absolutely fantastic. That would just make the trip. Um, I've never seen a pine martin out in the wild. Uh, I've only ever seen dead ones by the side of the road when we've been abroad. And it would be an absolute highlight to see these. So he's just actually been up with me. We're going to walk up in a minute and I'll show you the, the setup. Um, it's in like an old, um, like a sheep enclosure, if you will, stone walls around it. and. He's had these perches set up. Uh, there's a nice stone wall. He's got uh, two lovely perches. He's had tawny owls on there, uh, red squirrels, badgers up on the wall feeding. Uh, so who knows? Who knows what we're going to get? We've got till it goes dark. We've no no form of lighting. So hopefully, if anything does show up, it'll show up before dark, and we might get some pictures. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, get this monster of a bag back on the on the on my back. Just nip over here and uh, let's show the setup. Right, so this is, we're in focus there, we're in focus, right. This is our, our setup, like I said, it's a stone enclosure really, where uh, obviously sheep have been sheltered at some point and it's not used anymore but I'll grab grab this camera and let you have a look here we go now look at that how's that for a view contrast down a bit there we go look at that could you wish for a better spot beautiful isn't it absolutely stunning so this is what we've got to work with so we've got a nice big perch out there as you can see we get the pine martins on here and also pine martins on on there they'll climb up that and we've got this lovely stone wall with the moss on it and you get the badges on there let's, have a look. let's turn this around again here we go right so yeah who knows, we don't know what's going to turn up, do we? This is where we're... All the hard work has been done for me, I don't have to do it. Brilliant. <laughs> Let's have a look. Right. Here we go. So... Let's roll the stone away. Look at this. Welcome to the humble abode for this evening. So with two walls down here and they put a roof on top so it's going to remain dry. What more could you ask for? So we're going to get set up in here. We're just going to, what we're going to do, we're going to pop the camera lens through there. We're going to set the, uh, set the tripod up. There's already a seat in there. I'm going to use the, well, we're going to get in there. I'm going to have a look, see what's the, uh, what's the best to use. I'm on, I'm using the 300 because they tend to come out um, later on, you know, just as the light's dropping. They might come out, who knows, we don't know what's going to come out, do we? Um, there's a chance Tony Owls might uh, 
they've, they've been seen on the trail cams as well. So we're going to get the 300 set up. I don't know whether I'm going to put the converter on. Uh, I've got a 1.4 converter, so that'll knock it down to F4. I'd like to keep it at F2.8 if they're going to be, you know, coming out when it's uh, going dark. I want as much light as I can. So we'll have a look, see what uh, what kind of focal length we're working with. Distance-wise, it's probably I don't know. It's only it's not even 20 meters to be honest. So we should be fine with 300. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Hopefully we'll get a pine martin. You never know. <laughs> right, we're all set up. Um, pretty simple setup, really. This is fantastic. If you can have a, a setup like this, it's superb because it means you can. You can work in wet weather, and your you know your gear is nice and dry. It's a it's a great little setup. This all we've got a bit of chicken wire already on the on the fence here, and they've just put a scrim net up, a hole cut in there, and uh, yeah, that's it. We're just shooting through that. Always be mindful as well, depending on the position of the sun. Even though you're behind a scrim net, you know there's gaps in the scrim, and um, always an idea to get these covered up covered the air digits up and your uh, and your boat race as well just that little tiny bit of glare and uh, you know they might see it and be aware um, and that's about it we're just waiting now uh, there's there's a bit of a uh, bit of peanut butter down uh, some nuts that's about it really and apparently that that's what brings them in the pine martins they like the peanut butter and jam butties apparently don't about figure all and keep the mitts off them. I tell you what I've got on here as well. For anyone that's got the um, the Manfrotto video head, you'll know that. I'll just take this off actually and show you. Here we go. Right. So when you get the Manfrotto video head, you get this big plate with it. Okay. Now, if you've got a few lenses, it's a pain in the backside because you've got to keep taking that plate off. So all I've done, you'll see here, I can undo it. I bought a little, there we go. You can see it there. And all it is, focus on it. There we go. So all that is, it's just a quick release plate. It's an Orca Swiss, so that, fastens onto your big plate, your big Manfrotto plate, that then stays on the video head all the time and then you can get your Arca Swiss plates because if you've if you're three or four lenses you don't want to be buying three or four of them big big Manfrotto plates do you because they're not cheap so you just leave that on there put your Arca Swiss plates on your whatever lenses you've got and then you can just flick it on there and you've got a quick release plate, brilliant. So I'll put a link for that in the uh, in the film description. Right, let's get this on and keep the fingers crossed. Oh, <laughs> I've just seen there's either a vol or a mouse running along that log to get to the nuts. So if we don't get any pictures of pine martins, we'll certainly get some footage of the mice.
Right, we're back in camper. Um, I got some video, rubbish video, but I saw my first Pine Martin well chuffed. I was packing everything up. Uh, I did about four hours and didn't see anything. Typical, uh, we kind of lost the light really, so it was time to pack up. Putting my camera stuff in the bag and the bottom of that little paddock, you know where that wall was, uh, I could see the Pine Martin bounding across. So he was obviously gearing up to come and uh, come and sit on that wall and have a bit of food. I'd give it 10 minutes. I just managed to, to sneak under that wall, uh, get through the gate where you saw me coming through, and then i just give it 10 minutes, and then it was nearly dark, so the, the footage is, is awful, I'm afraid. I do apologise, but hey, it's what it is. I couldn't have heard about it. And, uh, yeah... Didn't get any stills because it was too dark, but we got a bit of footage, so we've, we've seen my first Pine Martin. So, massive thanks to Keith for setting that up. Uh, it just goes to show that you don't get photos just by accident. You know, it's a, there's a lot of hard work went into that setup. You know, that's, that's years of watching and feeding and observing and, you know, lots and lots of work, hard work that have gone into that. So it just goes to show you know how much how much effort you've got to put in to get some decent pictures so yeah we'll be back hopefully we've been invited back so hopefully in september if we're up this way we'll uh, we'll have another do and we'll hopefully get some better pictures so that's it for now thanks for watching uh give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it give us a like share hit that bell icon so that you get any notifications of new films and uh and that's it so we'll uh See you out there. See you later.